Another reward of fasting is that not only that they will uh, have taqwa and iman and get the rid of Allah and the jannah and the door, but that also Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, uh, how should I put it? Hmm. There's a musk, a fragrance that people would smell of the fasting. And it's something that is beautiful. And it is only for those people who have given up eating and drinking, all right, for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So it's a special fragrance and, and, and musk. And that is why uh, this is somewhat related to the benefit that Rasulullah said in the hadith that the, the breath of the fasting person from the mouth that comes. You know, people today are so, so conscious of their breath. Oh, I didn't brush my teeth and this and that and I'm fasting and a bad breath is coming. So look. About bad breath, Rasulullah himself is saying that the bad breath that comes out of the mouth of a fasting person that is more beloved to Allah than the smell of the fragrance musk. Musk smells very beautiful, very serene, very attractive. But that musk smell is not so great in front of Allah compared to the smell of the breath of the fasting person. This is another benefit or another reward that Allah gives. Allah is saying that this person who's fasting he is more, he or she is more mahboob, more beloved to me. This is their reward. That their breath, I don't mind. Their breath should not be something that people frown upon. Oh, get out of here. You're so disgusting. Smell. No, no, no. We should not even do that. That is like a kind of insult and humiliation of a person who is so beloved in front of Allah. Because he or she is fasting. And if we insult them by saying, oh, you have a bad breath, man, get out of here. Of course, they're fasting. That's why today is very... <laughs> I mean, the world has become so advanced, you can say, or I don't know, modernized, that to, today people, they're going brushing three times a day. Even they're fasting, they're brushing during the day, putting Listerine. <laughs> oh, my breath is good. People are so conscious about their breath. And about the breath, Rasul is saying that, look, Allah loves that breath more than the musk, the fragrance. Meaning, do not ever look down upon that person. They have given up their fasting. Yes, it does not mean that we shouldn't brush our teeth. That's a different issue. We'll cover that in what breaks of fasting, what does not. We'll cover, cover that later. But at this moment, we just want to focus on the reward. Now let's look at the benefit. When it comes to the benefit of fasting, there are two types. One is physical and one is spiritual. These are the two types of benefits of fast. Physically, there are certain benefits that we gain by fasting. And also... Spiritually, of course, spiritually, what we said earlier that we increase in taqwa. All right, we increase ourselves in taqwa, iman, khashi of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and therefore we gain all these things physically. What do we do physically? We are Taming down our nafs, curtailing our nafs from the aspect of what we say uh, desires and lust. We are controlling this. The best way you can say is the benefit is self control. You have food and drink in front of you. Let's say, I mean, of course, in a Muslim country, it would not happen. In a Muslim country, you know, everybody is not eating and drinking because everybody's fasting. You know, in the workplace, in the school, in the college, everybody knows. But let's say in a non-Muslim country like here, you may go to work, you may go to school or college, you go out in the public and you see people eating and drinking, munching on things, and you're fasting. In the middle of the heat of the fasting, you're there. So there's a lot of temptation. But by fasting, one of the, one of the benefits we get physically is that we are, uh, what you call, controlling our nafs against desires. Similarly, there's another physical benefit that if you see an opposite gender walking on the sidewalk, shaitan can put a waswasa, oh look, look at them, but you say, no, I'm fasting. So this is another physical benefit. You control your mind. You control yourself against shaitan. Shaitan didn't control you, but you repel shaitan. Shaitan could have controlled you by saying, come on, come on, look, look, just one side, one eyesight, look at it. Look at her, look at him, just one side. But you say no. In your heart, there's a battle going on. In your soul, in your ruh, there's a fight going on between you and shaitan. You say no to shaitan, shaitan says no, look. And that is another physical benefit or intellectual benefit 
of the aspect of fasting that the person uh, can use in terms of how they can classify <coughs> fasting. And the other aspect, of course, when you gain taqwa, what happens? When you fast, you gain taqwa. When you gain taqwa, you get encouragement, or what we call in Arabic language, tawfiq, tawfiq lil amal. You get an encouragement to do good deeds. Because people say, how do we do good deeds? What is the encouragement for good deeds? Or let's say, what is the catalyst for doing good deeds? The answer is only one, taqwa. If you have a big, big reservoir and substance, uh, substance of taqwa, you'll see it's so easy to do nawafil ibadah, you'll see it's so easy to do huquq al ibad, going out there, helping people, needy people. All of these things, all good deeds require only one commodity, one fuel, one aspect. And the fuel is taqwa, taqwa, taqwa. So taqwa comes from, of course, fasting. And like I said, uh, you know, the ability to control our nafs is a physical aspect. The spiritual is taqwa. And the other aspect, which you can say is a conglomeration of uh, physical and spiritual mix, is the uh, love for or hub of uh, uh, towards uh, the encouragement and motivation, inspiration towards uh, Islam, meaning doing something for Islam. This only comes when we think of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And in fasting, in Psalm, people get so much time to think and ponder upon Allah, upon their relationship with Allah, that they want to say that, I want to do something for Islam. I want to do something for the deen of Allah. I want to do something for Allah's sake. So this encouragement comes from fasting, the spiritual and physical combination benefit. And last but not the least, and the most important benefit of fasting, um, is that it renews our Iman, revives our Iman, recharges the battery. Our battery, which you can say is the heart in the body, the heart is the battery, the battery drains out. It takes a toll on the battery of all the shahwad and lazad and kharafad of the dunya. All the temptations and lust and desires and sins and things going on in the world, it takes a toll, it tax, a burden on the battery of the body, which is the heart. So when we fast, it reboots, recharges the battery. The battery is pumping up, up and running. Um, and that is why it is mentioned about uh, Yusuf a.s. You know the Prophet Yusuf? What's so special about him? He was a prophet from a young age, right? It's mentioned by Yusuf a.s. that he used to increase a lot of fasting outside the fard fasting. Ramadan is fard fasting. But outside Ramadan is any nawafil fasting. And he used to do the nawafil fasting a lot. Why? Because it's a good morale booster. Your morale goes up. You know, you, some days you feel very, very demoralized. Very low in spirit. If, I mean, getting up for prayer is like a humongous task. Giving even a dollar in the box is a milestone, big thing. Because the morale is so down. The, you're so, so le low self-esteem. Your spirits are down out, outright low. So how do you lift it up? Just make a knee of fasting for the next day and you fast next day, boom, you'll see such a burst coming up. And Yusuf al-Islam from his fitrah, from his natural thing that he left behind in his legacy, that because he was, he was succumbed to so much pressure. His brothers, you know, exiled him. He went to the jail. Then the woman tried to seduce her. And then he was in the jail. And then, you know, he went through so much turmoil, pressure. It's a lot of morale diminishing thing. So he used to fast a lot, fast a lot, fast a lot. To give, to lift the spirit, to give the morale booster. Uh, 